What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about flashes. And before you ask, no, it's not about the people with Rain Max who flash people, it's actual flashes that go with cameras. So what is a camera flash? A camera flash can be used on camera or off camera. Generally, a flash is used to illuminate a subject or a certain bit of a scene which you want to incorporate in your photograph. They all come in a different variety of sizes and styles and price range. Normally on your camera you'll have a pop-up flash and generally you can sort of use that for snapshots and things like that. However, if you're taking pictures of people, what it's gonna do is illuminate the, the subject, but you're gonna have a shadow all the way around because that flash is just pointing straight at the, the subject and it's not very flattering at all. The most common thing which people get are these speed lights. So the majority of my flash equipment is from Godox and I've gone through the whole thing of having Canon and other brand specific accessories and flashes to use. However, the Godox offers the most versatility in terms of using it with other different camera systems, things like that. You're not actually fixed into using it on the one camera system. So speed light is something which you can attach to the camera or you can use off camera. Basically, all you do is you attach it to the camera and there's a number of different settings you can use. There's a TTL which is through the lens and TTL goes off your camera settings so what it does it looks through the lens and see what settings you use and it automatically uses the flash power to illuminate the subject or correctly expose the photograph for you. There's also a setting for manual mode so what you can do is you can actually set the power of the flash on the flash itself so you don't have to rely on the camera processing the settings to go through to the flash and doing the TTL option. And then the bonus of having the manual option is if you use it off camera camera flash is you can set the power of this to get the, the image that you want. The bonus thing about most of these Godox things as well is it comes with high speed sync. Generally the shutter of your camera when you take an image the shutter goes up and down and captures the image. The cutoff speed for majority of camera bodies is 1 200th of a second. When you go over that it doesn't let in enough light so what you end up with is a black bar along the bottom of your images. This is where high speed sync comes in. You turn that on and you can go up to whatever shutter speed you need to and it still lets in enough light you don't get that black bar along the bottom of the image. So if you're shooting some portraits with off camera flash outside, you want to expose the sky and the environment for the image that you need to do. However, you want need to use something like F2.8 so you can have the subject in focus, the background out of focus, but you still want the colors and the brightness of that. This is where the high speed sync comes in because you put your ISO down to 100, say F2.8, and you're going to be massively overexposed for the background. If you drop your shutter speed down to say, I don't know, 1 500th of a second, that gets your background correctly exposed for whatever lighting it is. Then all you do is pop in your flash, put your high speed sync on, set your settings, set your settings for the correct power on the flash, and you're good to go. So a lot of people use the speed lights on cameras for events and things like that. And if you're getting adventurous and you're using an off-camera flash and you want to upgrade to something a bit more powerful and a bit different, the next thing up is something like this. So this is a flash which you can use off camera and this particular one is the EAD200 from Godox. Essentially it's the same as a speed light so you can use it off camera. Basically you get a mount to put it in or there's options here so you can thread it onto a light stand. And again when you turn it on you've got your manual settings so you have different channels so you can select your channels for whatever flash you're shooting on and you can change the power and things on there. So you can put the power down and put the power up and obviously there's your full power. And also the thing about these is they actually come with TTL as well. So if you're unsure about flash ratios and power and things like that, just set this to TTL and you're good to go. This also has high speed sync. So you hold on the button, turn that on, and that operates that. These are super easy to use, super portable, so you can chuck them in your bag, put them up, put them anywhere you want, and they're really easy to use. And like I said, and as it's got a lithium ion battery, the battery lasts for quite a while, and also you don't have the issues with double A's and other batteries and things like that. When you're taking flashes, you can pop them off, especially at lower power, and you're not gonna have that much of a recycle time. So as you can see there, that's just popped off loads and you can do that when shooting. So you're never going to miss a shot. All your lighting's going to be the same and it's perfect. And then the other thing with lighting, you've got these like your studio strobes. So we have a lot of these in the studio and these are handy because they are powered in. So if you're shooting inside, then power isn't an issue. If you're shooting outside, then obviously you're going to need a generator or something like that. So that's where the speed light and the other flash comes in handy. But again, this is essentially the same. With this, all you have to do is adjust the power and it's got the wireless option. So when you use the trigger, you just take a picture and this fires off as well. You can see on the front here this has got a Bones mount so all of the Bones adapters like the Beauty Dish and the Octobox and things like that I can use those on this flash. Then for the other flashes I have an adapter that which the flash goes into. So with these AD200s I have something similar. So as you can see here this is the the mount that goes in. So it just slots in here like this. You screw that on then when you're using the flash, it actually gives you versatility. So when it's on a light stand, you can actually move it up and down and change the position of it. So you can actually 
modify the light that way. The good thing about using this mount compared to just mounting it to a light stand is when you put it on, you can actually move this arm to tilt up and down. Like I said, it's got the bones mount so I can attach my lighting modifiers on here. So I can have studio modifiers like a beauty dish or an octobox and use that on location rather than just using bare bulb. So that's a little look at flashes and in the future there'll be a much larger training course and other videos regarding flash. So using high speed sync, changing settings and other things like that. So I hope you learned a little bit about flash and until the next video. Thank <laughs> you.